Look, an alien watching cows. That makes sense. Science is having a terrific season right now. The scientific method has flown us to the moon, extended the human lifespan, and even put the internet in our pockets. But before we got to the point we're at right now, a lot of really brilliant people have had some really bonehead ideas. Are you feeling a little under the weather? Maybe your phlegm to black bile ratio needs to be adjusted. Ancient physicians like Hippocrates used to believe that human temperament and health were the result of an interplay between the four bodily humors, blood, phlegm, black bile, also known as melancholy, and yellow bile, also known as choler. The craziest part is, this whole idea made it into the Middle Ages and beyond. You can take the bodily humors idea for things like bloodletting and enemas. This idea would be so creepy if it were true. Spontaneous generation was this widely held belief that higher complex organisms could arise spontaneously from lifeless inanimate objects. For example, a 17th century Flemish physician named Jean-Baptiste von Helmont had the idea that if you took a sweaty shirt and put it in a box of grain, three weeks later you would sprout mice. I mean, how else are you going to explain the presence of mice in a box of grain left out for three weeks? Von Helmont also had the idea that if you took basil leaves and pressed them between two bricks, you could make a scorpion. <laughs> Miasma theory. Back in the mid 19th century, London was plagued by cholera outbreaks, and an epidemiologist of the day named William Farr chalked it up to miasma. The idea that disease was spread through things like night vapors and foul smelling gases. But an English physician named John Snow questioned miasma. Everybody else was like, you know nothing, John Snow. But John Snow won out. He traced the cholera outbreaks back to a public water pump that was drawing water from cholera infected sewage. Mm. Score one for germ theory. Yes, even Aristotle, arguably one of the most brilliant people who has ever lived, had a couple of missteps along the way. Take for example his idea that different objects will fall to earth at different rates. It makes sense in a way, which is probably why it took 2,000 years for Galileo Galilei to come along and smash the idea to bits. We now know today that two objects, regardless of their mass, accounting for wind resistance, will fall to earth at the same constant rate. Supposedly, Galileo tested this by dropping cannonballs off the Leaning Tower of Pisa. We don't know if that's true or not, but it's a pretty great story. What's the weirdest obsolete science fact you've ever heard? Let us know in the comments section below, and don't forget to subscribe. And check out more crazy facts about the history of proto-science by reading 10 Things We Thought Were True Before the Scientific Method at HowStuffWorks.com.